Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2017 sheet metal video tutorial. I want to start with a very simple sheet metal bracket, which looks like this. You could do this in many ways. I will show you just one for this tutorial. So there are two ways to start with a sheet metal part. You could go for a sheet metal part right here or you could go for a normal part and then convert it to sheet metal. So let's do this. You will get the sheet metal defaults. That's this symbol right here. You have a sheet metal rule. I will go to default millimeter. You can use the thickness from the rule. By the way, you can change, of course, everything right here. That's 0 0.5 millimeter. This seems to be a little bit thin, so I will go for 2 millimeter. And you can choose the material. And according to the material, the rule will change and the model will change. So let's go for aluminium 6061. There's an unfold rule which could go by a rule. It could go by a band compensation or a default K factor. And of course you could change everything. So let's confirm. I will do this sheet metal bracket with a contour flange and some flanges. So first I need a sketch right on that plane for example and this should look something like this Okay, give it some dimensions or first, yeah, give it some dimensions. This should be 120. This should be 20. And that distance should be 60. Then align the points, this point to that one, and horizontal, this one to that one as well. Then a distance from this one to that point, which should be 50. And finish the sketch. And let's go for the contour flange. Take note, you only have to do the radius in the sketch if it's not the same as the standard bent radius. So you can draw this without the fillet. Go to contour flange. That's the offset, which means That's to the inside from the sketch, right here. That's to the other side. And that's symmetrical to both sides. The thickness. Then I go for the symmetric extrusion, which should be 30 millimeters, and confirm. Now I need a flange on that edge right here, so go for a flange. And in the winter you can do the flange angle with zero degrees. So we'll go for it. The distance should be 10. And 
apply no I want it to be not on the complete edge but it should be centered with the width and this might be 25 now let's make apply then another flange right here angle should be 90 degrees and the distance should be 70 and take note here you can control the dimension from which point it's measured so the two outer faces which means from that edge right here up because I want it to be 70 altogether and here you can control how the band will be made I want it to be inside the already existing material that would be outside see the different positions okay let's apply again and then another flange right there and this should be 20 and apply then on that edge I go for 0 length 10 apply and another one right here if you choose this edge it will go down below I want it to go up 10 10 that's okay make it 90 degrees and cancel it out so what's missing missing all the camphers and those camphers are very easy to do make it four millimeter and you could only select these edges not that edges only these can be selected that's very nice let's take a look I think I need one here one there one here one there and okay and I'm done so how to create the flat pattern first you can define the A side which means this side will not be moved all the other material will be flattened out so define a side select for example this one and all the others will be flattened create flat pattern and you got the flat pattern with the band lines see you have the flat pattern and you go back to the folder part right here and I'm done for this video so if you want to see more sheet metal give it a like down below leave a nice comment thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye